Following some severe setbacks on the battlefield, the Russian military leadership has been forced to return to the drawing board. Ukraine has been able to recapture significant territories in the Kharkiv region, and its forces are also making some gains in the southern Kherson province. For Russia, losing three regions is something which cannot be afforded, as that would severely undermine the success of Putin's so-called special military operation and also threaten Russia's land bridge to Crimea. The land bridge was brought about through significant hard work, and it cannot be lost to the Ukrainians. So Russia has made some serious reshuffles in the military leadership overseeing the war in Ukraine. And a ruthless man has just been given charge of Vladimir Putin's war effort. President Vladimir Putin has appointed General Sergei Surovakin to lead the war effort in Ukraine. Surovakin's appointment came after Putin sacked two Russian senior military commanders in what is being seen as punishment for their inability to stop the Ukrainian counteroffensives. Colonel Sergei Surovakin enjoys the title of Hero of Russia. He received that title for his service in Syria, where he led the Russian military intervention as commander of the Aerospace Forces. According to Jamestown Foundation, Surovakin is known for being totally ruthless in the Russian military. The Russian general, who is now in charge of the war in Ukraine, has been accused of overseeing a brutal bombardment that allegedly destroyed much of the city of Aleppo in Syria. That might be a sign of things to come for Ukraine, as Russia ropes in a general who believes in the strategy of carpet bombing enemy territory to achieve military objectives. Moscow has so far refrained from indiscriminate bombing of Ukrainian territory. Surovakin, who is 55 and was born in Siberia's Novosibirsk, has combat experience in the 1990s conflicts in Tajikistan and Chechnya. Until now, Surovakin has been leading Russia's forces in southern Ukraine. Russian forces in southern Ukraine have been able to better hold on to their positions and defend captured territory against Ukrainian counter-offensives. By appointing Surovakin, Putin aims to replicate that success throughout the front line. Ukraine's targeting of the crucial Crimean bridge has angered Russia like never before. Vladimir Putin made an unusual address to the Russian people on Sunday, where he called the bombing of the bridge a terrorist act. Deputy Chairman of the Russian Security Council Dmitry Medvedev had earlier said that Ukraine targeting Crimea would result in Judgment Day coming very fast and hard. Vladimir Putin then went on to call an unusual meeting of the Russian Security Council on Monday. Such meetings generally take place on Fridays. The signs emerging out of the Kremlin are that Russia is beginning to pull up its socks and prepare for a potential turnaround in its Ukrainian strategy. So is Russia going to intensify its war effort in Ukraine? Or will Russia finally act on its nuclear threats? Do let us know what you think in the comments.